How can we be certain that this stuff isn't dangerous? Because it is not, and that is the truth. Oh, dear. There you are. You've heard it from the horse's mouth now. You get that in. What do you mean I've heard it from the horse's mouth? That's Derek Trotter in there, not bloody Einstein. Dell knows what he's talking about. And I don't see what a Beatles manager's got to do with it anyway. <laughs> what? When we was at school, Dell was the best in our class at chemistry. He used to sell homemade fireworks. He even blew up the science lab once. Yes, I remember. I was doing detention in there at the time. <laughs> you say you don't know what he's talking about? Right, that's it, Dell. I am not touching them. I'm off. Then, Dell. Now, believe me, it's harmless. And to prove it, I'm going to help you carry it. Look, I can't say fairer than that, can I? Look, they can't be dangerous, Denzel. How can you be sure? Because Dell's just offered to help us carry them. <sighs> yeah, all right, Trig, all right. <laughs> Late. You said it was open 24 hours a day. Yeah, but not at night. <laughs> so what do we do now? We've got 6,000 gallons of something in the back of my van. We could take it down the other council depot I used to work at. Is it open? No. <laughs> Well, what's the point in taking it to your depot if that's not open either? Well, it soon will be open. I've got a spare set of keys here. Yeah? Are you sure this is all right? Who cares? Yeah, no problems. Come on, back up. You're all right behind, Denzel. I mean, is it legal? Yes! <laughs> back up with you, Denzel. Stone me, it's bloody hot in here. <laughs> I can't see the fascination with this diving lot. There you are. Now, aren't you glad you listened to me tonight? Hmm? These are austere times, Denzel. If it hadn't been for my persuasion, you would have lost the contract tonight. Yeah, I suppose you're right. No income tax, no VAT, no money back.